Today we look at DALI lighting solutions, connecting all DALI devices via signaling cables, connecting the signal ports of each DALI device in series with signal cables, ensure that each device can communicate with the DALI bus, connect the DALI devices to the power input and fixtures, connect the DALI bus to the computer, double click to enter DALI master, click DALI bus, bus interface, select the serial port, Click Master Device, Addressing, select System Extension or complete new installation as required. Find all DALI devices and done. Now grouping devices. Each DALI device can be added to more than one group. Below you can also set the parameters of the DALI device, min level, etc. On the right you can test the device, turn off the light, Max level. Continuing with the grouping, we will add all devices to group 0. Add the above two devices to group 1. Add the other devices to group 2. Look at the effect after grouping. Group 0 controls all the lights. Click to turn off the lights. Click to turn on the light. Group 1 controls the top two lights. Group 2 controls the following devices. Next, set up the scene. Click on DALI bus. Scene configuration. Here you can set up scenes for devices in batch. Select the host, and then you can choose the setting range. For example, all DALI broadcast, or single address devices and group devices. For example, let's set the scene for group zero device first. You can set the brightness for scene zero, set the brightness to zero, turn off the lights. Click store scene. Scene 1 is set to maximum brightness. Scene 2 set to a lower brightness, 2700K color temperature. Scene 3 sets a higher brightness, 6700K color temperature. Next, set the scene for the group 1 devices. Scene 4 is set to zero brightness, lights off. Scene 5 is set to maximum brightness. Click to set the scene of group 2 device. Scene 6 set the brightness to zero, turn off the light. Scene 7 is set to maximum brightness. Next, set the functions of the DALI keypad. General does not need to be set. Click on Instance Parameters and Control Logic. You can see that there are eight instances, corresponding to the eight keys in the panel. Parameter settings are used to enable or disable the actions of the keys, such as click, double click, long press, etc. Let's set the function of key zero first. Click Control Logic. Destination addresses can be set to broadcast, group, or single address. Let's set it to group zero so it will control all devices in group zero. Let's see what commands are available in short press. You can choose commands according to your needs. Here we choose, go to scene zero, call scene zero, turn off all the lights. Long press is set to dimming down. Next, set button one. Remember to check enable. Button one is also to control group zero, call scene one, turn on all the lights. Press and hold to set dimming up. Button two to call scene two. Button three calls scene three. Button 4 is set to control group 1, call scene 4, that is turn off all lights in group 1. The function of long press is dimming down. Button 5 is also set to control group 1, to call scene 5, that is to turn on the lights. Press and hold for dimming up. 
Button 6 is set to control Group 2. Button 7 is also set to control Group 3, to call Scene 7. That is to turn on the lights. OK, save the settings and click right to device. Let's see the effect. All the buttons above control all the lights. Turn on the light. Turn off the lights. Click the third button to call Scene 2. Click the fourth button to call Scene 3. The third row of buttons controls the top two lights. That is Group 1. Turn on the lights. The last row of buttons controls the lower lights. That is Group 2. Turn off the lights. Turn on the lights. Press and hold the button to dimming, dimming down or dimming up. Next, look at the sensor settings. Click on Instance Parameters and Control Logic. There are two instances of this sensor. One is an occupancy sensor. One is a light sensor. Let's disable the light sensor and see the effect of the occupancy sensor. Click on Instance 0. Click on Control Logic. Set destination addresses to Control Group 2. Enable it. Then set the time as desired. For example, fade in time, run on time, etc. Here we set run on time to 4 seconds. When motion is detected, the light will stay on for 4 seconds. Set presence value and absence value, which are the brightness of the light. Click Save Settings. Let's see the effect. When motion is detected, the light will be on. Then it stays on for a while. After a period of time, the light goes off. When motion is detected again, the light turns on. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.